What is going on, everybody? Welcome to this QB face of the franchise. I know we're a normal franchise, but I'm going to call it that. As you know, C.J. Lewis was a running back in a very successful series, 30-episode series of Madden 23 face of the franchise. Uh, the series did way better than I ever thought, and the, the Chargers series ain't doing so well. So I figured, why not test the waters with the QB franchise and see how this goes? If it doesn't go good, then I'll just end it. But... Uh, we are on the um, Las Vegas Raiders. They did simulate the uh, regular season. Um, so they fixed start today, or whatever they call it in Madden, to the wild card round. So everything is correct. We're in the next season. We have the draft class. Uh, Bryce Young went to the Texans. Uh, CJ Stroud got drafted by the Cardinals at the third overall pick. I don't know why the Cardinals drafted him. Uh, so, yeah, so we'll be seeing some of those top picks later down the year. I did pick the Raiders because I was going to see if Tom Brady retired. If Brady retired, then I was going to go to the Bucks, but he did not. So, Vegas was the next option. I am a Chargers fan. Very depressed one. Uh, so, we're going to have to be seeing, we're going to have to be seeing Herbert in the Chargers twice a year. We're going to have to see Mr. Mahomes in the Chiefs twice a year. And uh, Russell Wilson and the Broncos. Uh, so, this Raiders team is obviously very good, um, you know, depth-wise. They needed a QB. They moved it on from Derek Carr. We had 98 overall Devontae Adams, 96 overall Max Crosby, 95 overall Josh Jacobs. Uh, and then, you know, some fillers, Darren Waller, who I did not know was 30 years old. Uh, Hunter, Hunter, Hunter Renfro. We still got Chandler Jones on the team, I believe. Oh, uh, yeah, Derek Carr is still on the roster. He's a 73 overall. And did I see, did we sign, oh, we signed DeAndre Carter from the Chargers. I like that. A wide receiver core is pretty solid. I, I will admit, especially because we have Devontae Adams. I don't know how their O-line is. Uh, their O-line is also pretty solid. That right side's pretty weak. But I am a scrambling quarterback. And we're going to go into week one against the Chiefs. I am playing on all Madden. I can show you that right now if it wants to load. And never mind. Now we'll be on all Madden. I don't know why it wasn't already on it. All Madden. You see it right there. Simulation. And without further ado, let's get into this game. Game one against the Kansas City Chiefs. And see if we can bring this uh, Raiders team back to the playoffs. Arrowhead Stadium, home of the Chief Faithful. Faithful? Faithful. CJ Lewis getting ready for his debut at quarterback with Devontae Adams. Should be one of the best one-two punches in the league, hopefully. We will definitely see a uh, scrambling quarterback. My accuracy is not insane. Uh, I will be on the move a lot, but I'm going to have to try and play smart because I don't feel like throwing four interceptions a game. And the Chiefs get on the board with a quick field goal. We're going to start off with the run game with Josh Jacobs to see if he can get something going. I know the AI or the CPU for running backs in this game is very, very awful. But I'm, I'm hoping maybe Madden will smarten up a little bit if they're high overall. I doubt it. As Josh Jacobs is going to get a decent run there. That's what I like to see. And yeah, maybe, maybe game one will just be a little honeymoon phase. But I'm really hoping that uh, Josh Jacobs doesn't play like a complete idiot. Uh, we're going to go up pass play here. Josh Jacobs will be my primary target. Or actually, DeAndre Carter will be. He's left wide open up the field. My first completion is for 22 yards. They just forgot about him. And yeah, we'll run with Jacobs on this play, even though they only got two um, backs down there. Josh Jacobs up the middle is going to get a solid game of about seven. Play action here. Uh, Devontae Adams uh, is going to be our main target, but Bolton over the middle is what scares me. And I am going to take off. Never mind, because Chris Jones has light speed, apparently. Third and three. We'll go with the good. Never mind. How do they already have their, what you call it, momentum? Darren Waller is going to be wide open. And he's going to be just short of the end zone. Four yard line for... That's Darren Waller, right? Yes, that is. I have pretty damn good targets on this team. So, I'm hoping for the best with Devontae Adams and Darren Waller. Let's see if we can get in the end zone. Waller is... That was a risky play there. But we are in the end zone for their first score. First touchdown of the day. The Chiefs were able to score a touchdown. And we currently have a third and nine looking to convert. If you're going to beat the Chiefs, you got to outscore them. Or you got to have a Devontae Adams on your team to convert those third downs. Four for five, 64 yards, and a touchdown. What a reception from Devontae Adams. The Chiefs had the momentum, so anytime I try an audible, it just fails. 
as, wow, bro, our O-line. I don't know how we call it that. Our O-line is just not blocking. I knew that right side would be an issue. I had a strong feeling. Uh, we're just going to give the ball to Josh Jacobs here and hope for the best. Even though he is going to get stopped. Yep, I saw that coming. Third and eight, and that right side of the O-line is starting to pose an issue here, as I expected. Hunter Renfro, though, can he get open? No, I'm going to have to just chuck that. I was under too much pressure. I'm going to have to punt here. Luckily, the Chiefs did not score. So we really got capitalized. We're basically right where we were uh, last possession. So Josh Jacobs, as he runs directly into the lineman, gets a decent gain there of five yards. We definitely got to capitalize. I don't know if that's a fake they're showing, a fake play. Oh, my God, bro, with this stupid momentum. This let me audible. Bro, he's really not going to let me audible out of this? That's crazy. That's actually wild. And as you can see, the running back AI, instead of just running to the right side, he ran directly into the lineman. That's crazy how it did not let me audible out of that, no matter how many times I tried. That was so stupid. Luckily, Josh Jacobs is going to be wide open there, and he's going to get his first down. And Devontae Adams got hurt. Great job, Madden. Great job. Third and five, and I'm just so irritated because I can't audible out of plays. It's so stupid. Josh Jacobs, though, is going to hopefully get us the first. He does not get us the first down. Fourth and inches, and they're not going to let us go for it, right? Nope, of course. All right, I guess we'll actually they might end up converting here because sometimes they go for it. Oh, no, they're going to let us go for it. Do I trust the run? No. No, I do not. Am I going to do the run? Yes. Am I going to regret it? Probably. Okay, no, we converted. All right, I'm hoping DeAndre Carter is going to be open here. And he kind of is. He's going to get a gain of five. All right. I was hoping maybe he'd get open enough to get in the end zone. But no. Uh, it's all going to be on Hunter Renfro's head today. Let's see if Renfro can get enough separation. He does not. And I am under immense pressure leading to a third down. This O-line is failing completely right now. They are just not working. Hunter Renfro out route. See, that's Hunter Renfro, and that safety came out of goddamn nowhere. And in typical Madden fashion, instead of uh, taking the field goal, they went for it. Oh my god, I'm actually going to kill myself. Thank you. Jesus Christ, that is so annoying. If they can get some separation, that'd be great. Nope, of course not. Of course, every corner in this game has an insane vertical. They don't have to be looking at the ball. They just swat. They just swatted away no matter what. It's got to be easily the most annoying thing. That's in the double coverage. Third and ten. I don't know how the Chiefs have all the momentum. That doesn't make much sense. Darren Waller and it was inaccurate. How it was inaccurate, I don't know because I wasn't even pressured. We barely made it all the way down to the twenty. No, no thanks to our O line. We've had like five straight three and outs, and as you can see, the Chiefs have extended their lead to uh, fourteen. Yeah, literally, our O-line is just falling apart. I have no... That's not what I wanted. I have no time in the pocket to do anything. And not having Devontae Adams doesn't help. As Hunter Renfro's gonna get that reception. Yeah. Without Devontae Adams, our offense is basically useless. And now I'm gonna have to do this a million times in order to get the playoff. Because, you know, Madden. And hope for the best. Hope we can get a first down here. And... Ooh, I got it just right... And we're in the end zone. DeAndre Carter's having himself a day. And he gets us within one score. Let's hope our defense can hold the Chiefs here, but probably not. And our defense did not hold the Chiefs, as I expected. So I am going to need to lead this drive down quickly. If I can get an audible off, I doubt I'll be able to. But, you know, you never know. You never... Nope, that's a bad pass. And it's picked off immediately. And that most likely would do it. I mean, it's technically not over. If we can score here and not use any timeouts, there's a chance as Hunter Renfro is going to start us off good, leading us to the two-minute warning in Chiefs territory. We need to really get in this end zone quick, though, and they're going to have that deep coverage uh, covered. So I don't know how this is going to be possible. These middle-of-the-field pet he dropped it. Josh Jacobs, now is not the time to start dropping passes, my man. Now is not the time. 156 left. I, we need to keep all these timeouts because if we don't, there's no shot of us even having a chance of winning this game. Uh, Hunter, I had to. Bro, can you guys just block 
for more than two seconds, please, so I have time to throw the football? You're not helping. This O-line is not helping. I have no time to get rid of... Look, I literally have no time to get rid of that football. And now it's a fourth down. No time at all. This is terrible. This O-line performance is awful. It could not have been worse. That is not the route I thought he would run, and that is game. And we're going to start off the season 0-1. Awful. First of all, losing Devontae Adams was the biggest problem. But what a terrible performance from our offensive line. Man, they were so bad. They couldn't They couldn't block. They blocked nothing. Final stats on the day. Mahomes, he went off. Obviously, only one touchdown, though. 14 for 31, 193 yards, two touchdowns and a pick. Not a great day for me, but like I said, I was pressured almost every single pass. So that explains why I wasn't completing any. I went, what was that? I think I was 9 for 13 before I started throwing in completions. So I went 5 for 18 in that second half. That just explains it. Uh, Josh Jacobs did nothing with the ball like I predicted. Uh, DeAndre Carter, he balled out. I don't know what Devontae Adams' injuries are going to be. Uh, Blocking-wise, sacks allowed. It's not going to show. I wish it showed, like, uh, pressures. How many times I got pressured. Frank Clark and Chris Jones both had half a sack. Uh, Adderley had the interception. It's not. There's no uh, pressures. No, nothing. I, why does Madden not have that? I don't know. That's a key stat in football is how many times a QB was pressured. But whatever. We start off the season 0-1. The O-line's got to block better at the end of the day. It's just that simple. I can't get passes off if I'm pressured 24-7. And in Madden, if I'm rolling to the right or I'm rolling to the left, the defender, one, is somehow faster than me, even though I'm a scrambler. And two, just gets off their man immediately. Like the old line, the old lineman guarding him just stops blocking him. Doesn't make much sense, but that's going to be it for me. GG.